Hi there, this is Edmund and welcome to this video in which I will tell a little bit about preparation for your model shoots. And as a matter of fact, right now I am in a preparation of a shoot which, which I will have tomorrow. So I'm actually going to lead you through the process that I'm uh, using. And this way, hopefully you can uh, get, you know, uh, prepared better or you have some kind of roadmap of how you can do it. As a matter of fact, you know, if you think that, hey, about, you know, why is preparation so important, then you should think about what happens when you don't prepare. Meaning that, you know, you do everything last minute, you juggle with the projects, with the clients, with the collaborations, and, um, you know, you just uh, don't have enough time to prepare properly. And what happens then is, for instance, you don't have enough sleep and then you go to the shoot and you are, you know, like half awake. And this way, you know, you cannot really get the best, you know, out of the shoot. So that's why, you know, preparation is so important. And so what I'm going to share with you is just a couple of things that I wrote down that I want to share with you that may be helpful for your, um, uh, for your own preparation for the shoot. And so the, the number one uh, thing that you need to do properly is communication. And mainly communication uh, with everyone who is directly involved with the shoot. Meaning that, you know, foremost your model, then your, um, you know, makeup artist and whoever, you know, needs to be involved. And uh, needless to say, the more, the bigger the production, the bigger the shoot, the more people are involved and then, you know, the more um, time and effort it takes to put into the preparation. And so communication is key and you need to be available for everyone and you need to answer to the, um, to the messages. And as a matter of fact, one thing that I really recommend when it comes to you know, all the communication is just to create a WhatsApp group or whatever kind of you know, communication uh, you know, system you're using in your own country, um, you know, and this way, or even a Facebook Messenger group of a couple of people, you know, and this way you can really talk fast and you can share things, um, you know, in this group and anything that's important uh, when it comes to the shoot. And examples of that are the logistics, meaning what is the location, what time does everyone or certain people have to arrive and, um, then, um, so that's the first thing. And then we have the ideas, the creative side, the mood boards, meaning that you can share examples with your model, with other people you work with. And uh, so they can actually um, expect, you know, how you want to work with them and how you want to film, uh, etc. And one advice that I can really give you is to be completely direct and honest that you know, if you don't like something or if you, you know, don't like working with a certain person, then it's absolutely fine, but it's very important that you, you know, talk about it freely. You know, whether in the group, whether one-on-one, -on -one, but make sure that everything works just fine between people and that all the dynamics are uh, in the right place. So, um, communication, then your own equipment, if you are a photographer or where this uh, channel focuses on uh, the videographer, you know, you need to prepare the equipment. And as a matter of fact, I, so what I do, and this is straight away an example of, of, of that I can give you when it comes to my preparation is that, you know, I have a equipment list and I just write everything down in my notebook, ideally on just one page. And in a second, I will show you how this page looks like. And so what I do is I want, I, I try to break down as good as possible all the things that I need to take, you know, my camera, um, memory cards, uh, batteries, you know, make sure also that everything is fully charged, that you have backup, 
Uh, for instance, here on, on this example, I have the cameras. I have two cameras because I take the second camera for a, a behind the scenes um, you know, footage and as a backup as well. Um, I have a monitor, I have a color card I'm taking with me, some kind of reflector because tomorrow we're going to have a, um, a, a, a beach uh, shoot. We're going to film in the dunes and the weather is going to be hopefully good. And so I have a drone, I have the uh, speaker, very important to take with you, you know, just to play music, just to create a cool mood, and, and duct tape, which is uh, whether you're filming inside or outside, uh, that's the best, you know, ally that you can have because it will solve many, many different situations for you. And so this is my equipment list. Um, and then the last couple of tips that I can give you that are very important um, is first of all make sure that the catering is um, you know arranged meaning that um, you know the last thing you want to do if some is you know to have people on your set who are hungry and they are grumpy and everything and this is you know when you are when you take the initiative for this shoot it's, it's it's very important that you are the one who also takes care of those um, of this stuff um, and even if everybody has to take their own food with them just you know just communicate it um, with them just tell them and that will be perfectly fine uh, the other the second last thing are the contracts and this is entirely up to you whether you actually work with um, contracts and release forms um, and in my case I don't really use them meaning that I have them but I you know when I'm working with people I really focus on trust and making sure that I work with the right people and of course the first time you work with someone that can be very tricky and you don't really know uh, what to expect um, it gets a little bit easier if somebody actually comes from a recommendation but uh, you know very often you will work with people and with clients who have never met before. So contracts are important, but they are not like... Um, it's really up to you whether you are using them or, or, or not. And so the last advice that I can give you is a very simple one. You know, when you are busy, it may be a little bit tricky, but if you have this possibility, make sure to have a good night's sleep, make sure to sleep enough, um, you know, don't party too much. You know, I, I know it gets a little bit tricky when you are in a, you know, some kind of paradise, paradise location. But if you are simply staying at home, don't drink alcohol, don't do drugs. Uh, just get some sleep, get enough sleep, and this way you know that for sure your energy uh, will be high the next day. Uh, try to eat clean, uh, save your save your energy, make sure that you are in a good condition, and. I think that's about it. So I hope that you enjoyed this video. Um, surprisingly, I was able to do it in one take, even though it's really late and tomorrow is the shoot. And I know that the last piece of advice was about, you know, sleeping well, but uh, you know, sometimes you don't have a choice. But thank you so much for watching this video. If you liked it, if you are interested in model videography, this is uh, you know, this YouTube channel is um, all about it. Um, I'm Edmund, I'm a videographer, I film with models a lot. And on this channel, I'm not only going to share my work, but also, um, you know, share my experience through tutorials and different content videos. So if you really like uh, what you just saw, uh, make sure to like this video, make sure to leave a comment behind. Uh, subscribe to this channel, subscribe to my uh, email list, and uh, I see you in the, in the next video. Thank you for watching.